What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with some Battlefield 1 gameplay. Now you may not notice due to me mainly posting Destiny here on my channel, but Battlefield is my secret love, a game I have loved since playing way way back. A game I've always picked up, never really took the game seriously enough to cover on my channel or anything. I just loved playing it. The thing with me is, and it's the same for 99% of first person shooters, my primary goal when playing a game is sniping. It's the same with Destiny with the No Land Beyond, Overwatch with Widowmaker, Call of Duty with whatever snipers they offer, and it's the same with Battlefield. I only play Battlefield to snipe. Playing Battlefield 1 during the beta stages, I knew it was going to be a game I bought and played for fun, trying to snipe, and that's what I have done. Although I don't consider myself any good at sniping, I just love doing it. Now on Battlefield 1 there's a sniper unlocked at reaching a weapon class or rank of 10. So basically you have to get your scout class up 10 ranks. And let me tell you, this ain't no easy feat. I played for almost a week every single night trying to rank this up. In the end I got on Twitter due to it taking ages and people told me to play Conquest and capture plenty of points and defend the points and they were right. From that moment I ranked up pretty quick, well I say pretty quick, it still took fucking ages, it just levelled up a lot quicker than me playing team deathmatch. Now the level 10 sniper rifle is called the Martini Henry Infantry and you guys can see me using it in today's video. The weapon is a monster, the monster I was hoping it would be. Now I played a lot of Battlefield Hardline and unlocked the sniper rifle, the knockout, which was a grind in itself. That was capable of one hitting an enemy to the body up to about 100 meters, maybe less. That had a scope on it and a built in silencer and for sure many people complained about it was a little OP and I kind of agree, in the right hands the weapon was an absolute beast. I was hoping at the same time when going for this martini that it wouldn't be as bad or as good as the knockout and in truth it ain't. The Martini Henry does one shot kill enemies with body shots, but after about 40 meters or so, anything at close range, you'll need to finish them off with your pistol. The Martini Henry is definitely a close to mid range weapon, but I have hit the odd across map shot. It's one shot kill to the body, kicks in at about 35 to 40 meters. I'm not sure the range it has, but like I said, I have hit some distant shots. In my opinion, this sniper at the moment is in the right place. The fact that it doesn't have a scope limits you. It being a breech loading single shot lever actuated rifle is also a disadvantage in comparison to other snipers but it adds to the all round uniqueness of this weapon compared to the rest. For me it's definitely worth the grind you have to put in to get it if you're looking to have fun while sniping in this game. It just feels so satisfying when using it and I love the damn thing. But yes guys if you are grinding to get this to no avail, Conquest is definitely the quickest way to rank up your scout weapon class. Just capture points. I aim for about 10 a game, nothing stupid and not hard to do. If you jump in a vehicle and just allow the driver to do most of the work, you'll capture quite a few points per game. But yeah, like I said, the Martini Henry Infantry is definitely worth the grind. A sniper rifle I have fell in love with. Hope you guys do enjoy the video in the background though. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you have this sniper, let me know what you think about it down below. As always, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Objective apples. We have taken. 
taken objective butter. Enemies on the run! We have... 